We got you. All right, great. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and come back to me. All right, and uh, we have a special visitor today. It's Amelia. Hi. She's taking a little break from her regular class, and she's joining us. Awesome. And she didn't even need a permission slip. That was pretty good. <laughs> okay, so I am excited to share with you our trip. I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to launch into it. We are going somewhere really cool, and, and we're going to use Google Earth. And I wanted to introduce Google Earth to my students too, and parents because it's a great way to share and learn about the world. So I'm going to go to that screen, and I created a field trip presentation here. So here we go. We're going ahead to begin right where we live in Linwood. There we are. And as we begin, I'm going to make sure we have our permission slips signed <laughs> and your bag is packed. With your passport. And your sunscreen. And you might even bring a fishing pole. <laughs> no, we probably aren't going to do any fishing. So let's just take a minute and explore right around here. I love that we can get a real good close-up right in at our school. That's our campus. There's our school. And if you go into it, you can see, and I know you've probably done this, but if you see the lines in blue, those are places that you can visit. And you can take the little person and go right down to Street View. And, you know, this kind of made me a little bit sad because I didn't get to be at the school. But it does. Oh, you know what? I want to see if my car is parked in the driveway. I don't know. But you know what? I wish there was a big yellow bus right there right now because we'd be hopping on the bus and we would be going off to the airport. So let's do that. We're going to fly out and I am going to go ahead and go back to the presentation. Whoa, I didn't want to go all the way out into space. Come on back. I was doing this, uh, getting the lesson ready for the trip and I started to get a feel a little <coughs> seasick. How about you, Millie? I didn't feel anything. You didn't? Okay. Well, I must have been watching the screen too closely. So, okay. So, we're going to go to LAX and get ready to get on the plane. And, you know, class, I was thinking about this because uh, going to the Great Barrier Reef, not just because uh, some of you suggested it in our survey, but because I was going to take a trip like this this last month. But because of the virus and everything closing down, I didn't get to go. But here we go. We're going to go to LAX airport. And you see the yellow line right here? That's our trip. We're going to fly right across the Pacific. And we're going to stop by Hawaii. Aloha. Melikalikimaka. And if you wanted to explore Honolulu virtually, you can do that. You can do the same thing. You can take your little street view person. And the nice thing about street view is you can go to all kinds of places. Let's go right down here to the waterfront. Here we go. Now, I don't know how some of you are experiencing the internet at your uh, location, but I hope you can see everything. There we go. That is a beautiful beach. Whoa. I think I just want to stay there in Honolulu. What do you think? Oh yeah. Wait a minute. No, let's <laughs> not let's not dilly dally. Let's get on down the road here. Let's keep moving. We're gonna fly across the Great Pacific, the largest ocean in the world, and it is a long ways across the ocean. Along the way, we're gonna see some beautiful islands like Fiji mm -hmm. and American Samoa. Ooh, I want to go there. Me do. Maybe I'll just jump out of the airplane and take a little side trip. What do you think? No, you'll get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget about Guam. Oh. Those are all island nations that I'd like to hear about. Yes, go ahead. Tell them where we're, where we're going to land. We're going to land in the Great Barrier Reef. Right. Well, the Great Barrier Reef is right off the coast of Australia. One of the things that makes Australia unique is that it's a continent and it's a country. It's the only place that's like that. 
special continent and well i guess you could say it's a big, very big island right <laughs> we're going to land in brisbane Mister. And... hello hi someone there um yeah are we supposed to see the map or uh you should see what's on my screen can you not see it yeah we see youtube but not the map oh thanks for checking all right let me make sure okay thanks for mentioning that uh, you should see the map and that's what i was okay let me see here okay so some of you see the map and uh some of you don't let's see i tell you what i don't know what that's what that's doing on your screen but we're recording this session and uh it'll be visible i'm pretty sure on the recording Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. And if you want, if you want to follow along, like on your device, you can go to Google.com/Earth. So, okay. all right, all right. Let me go back to the. Thank you, guys. Hey, we're all learning how these tools work, and uh, it's just a challenge, isn't it? Okay, so I'm still presenting my screen. Okay, so we are we are going to leave Brisbane. Beautiful city, and we're going to get on a boat. And I thought this was, <laughs> I don't know if you can see the picture, but that's a great boat. It looks like a bus. It's a duck and, uh, boat. <laughs> it's called a duck boat, yeah. <laughs> I don't like and, uh, a duck boat. Anyway, uh, that's probably the boat we'll take to get out to the barrier reef. That's and, uh, a pretty looking boat. <laughs> I know. That's, I was looking for one that looked like a, a bus. Okay, here we go. This is the This is the highlight. So, you know, I had heard about this, that on Google Earth, you could go under sea and see, see things underwater. And so my son, Jonathan, and my son, Connor, we all got together and we kind of started looking at it. And uh, here's what we found out. If you take, when you're in Google Earth and you take the little person, right? When you go over the water, in some places, you'll see a little blue dot. And that's where you can go underwater. It's called a photosphere. There we go. We're going underwater, people. Hold your breath. No, we're not going to hold our breath. We're going to use scuba gear. Here we go. And then you get the little directions, and you are underwater. Ooh, ah. Check it out. Now, this is really going to be cool when you try it on your own, because right now I'm just kind of giving you a preview. Ooh, Look at the fish. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome. So anyway, I think this is just really worth exploring, my friends. Oh, look at What'd you see? Right there, right there. Look at right there. Okay. Now, what are you looking at here are animals. You see the coral? That's millions of different kinds of animals that are growing Whoa. those are alive Whoa. the even the hard shell animals are are alive they're at, they have an exoskeleton and it's forming over time and so one of the things that we're learning about the coral reefs is that because they're a living thing they're vital for the planet and our life on the planet and many of the coral reefs are in danger so that's something that we can really start to explore a little bit more. What do you think? A lot of bees are starting to die. Well, that's something that we see in our in our backyard. We have a lot of bees that are not surviving, and we're wondering about that. <clears throat> okay, friends, before we leave Australia, we must go to Sydney, and it's just down the coast. And we uh, we know about Sydney because of our friend Nemo, don't we? Yeah. yeah, I've seen the movie. Have you seen the movie, uh -huh. Finding Nemo? Uh-huh. Yeah, well, I think it's one of my favorite movies of all time. And there's Sydney. It is a beautiful city. There's their characteristic concert hall. Yeah. And, uh, oh, sorry. What were you going to say? Go ahead. Um, I forgot. Uh, you forgot. Okay, well, think of it in a minute here. I think I wanted to go right back. Here we go. Oh, I remember. Not leaving Sydney. We wanted to, before we do, I wanted to just appreciate a little bit. This is the scene from Finding Nemo when they get, they finally get to Sydney Harbor. 
And I'm going to skip ahead to the very end of this clip and see it. I will. Yeah, here we go. Hmm. What's going on? Don't know. I'll ask him. So they're inside the whale. And they do all the funny whale speak. We're going to skip ahead here. Just to the very end of this part. Whoa. Sorry about the noise there. Whoa. Here they go. There it is. You were right there. <laughs> you even heard the singer. We're going to find my son. Bye, Will. Wow. I wish I could speak whale. Well. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Well, that is the little clip. And, you know, I know we didn't spend a long time in Sydney, but we need to get on home, everybody. So what we're going to do is just do that. We're going to prepare for the long trip home. I thought that it would be nice if we go ahead and come home another way. <laughs> so we'll leave the Great Barrier Reef, we'll leave Australia, and we'll fly across the Indian Ocean to the great city, New Delhi. You can find out more about New Delhi. What a beautiful place. Millions and millions of people call it home. We're going to go right across the Indian Ocean to get there. And then we're going to hop right on over across the Middle East and on to the beautiful city of Paris. Ooh. Have you ever been to Paris? No. You know, I haven't been there, but I feel like I've been to Paris because I've seen so many pictures of it. So many famous sites there. Let's see here. There it is. There's our there's our picture of Paris. And if you wanted to explore Paris again, you take your one of the ways at least in Google Earth is to take your little person, go right down into the street view, and you can just pretend that you're walking the streets or riding a bike on the streets of Paris. Let's see what we see. <laughs> How are we doing, guys? I hope everybody can see everything. And again, we're recording the session. So now what are we looking at? Oh, we're looking at a stairway or something. Okay. Talk about street view. We, we, landed, we ended ourselves right in a hall of staircase. Let's keep going here. Oh, I see. We're in a photosphere. We got to go out of the photosphere and come back. Now yeah, we'll come back to it. We'll walk around the streets later. I know everybody's time is valuable, so let's keep. Oh, we lost our we lost our presentation. All right, guys, we're almost home. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and skip ahead through to the journey home because we're not quite there yet. We are in Europe. Does anybody know the ocean we have to cross to get back home to America? I think I do. Give them a second. I wish I could see them raising their hands. Does anybody know the ocean? Speak up. It's called the Atlantic Ocean. I knew it. I knew you knew it. And that's fine. So let's get, I'm just going to boomerang right around there. I'm kind of getting seasick here. Before we finish our field trip, I wanted to ask everybody to think about where they would like to go next. And I'm thinking I have some ideas. So what I'll do is I'll put out a survey and I'll post it in the Google Classroom and I'll put it on the Seesaw and you guys can let us know where you'd like to go next. Because this is just the first of more field trips we're having. Okay, here we go. Enough boring announcements, right? So we're gonna leave Paris and get a nap as we follow along across the Atlantic. Well, you might not want to get a nap. What else could you do in a long plane ride? Watch TV if they have a TV. Oh, I'm sure they have a TV. What will you watch? Hmm. Think about it. Here we go. One of the things that we we'll Finding do, Nemo. Okay, we can also look out the window as we're flying and think of some of the beautiful sights we'll see. And then we'll keep on moving.
Keep on moving. Keep on trucking. All right, so here we go. We'll fly to New York City. Hooray for the red, white, and blue. Do, 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 do. Here we are in New York City, and it is kind of quiet today because people are still staying at home. But I, I just saw some, I just saw a friend who was visiting New York. I don't know. Maybe he was posting a picture from a, a day ago. Anyway, there's beautiful New York. Let's do a quick look. Oh, you know something else you can explore with uh, Google Earth is you can click on to 3D and look at your sites, you know, from a different angle. Wow, that's pretty awesome. You know what? I'm going to let you guys explore that if you if you want to. Just make sure when you're using the Internet, boys and girls, you have an adult around to help you. Okay? Got to be safe out there. All right. Well, I just changed it to 3D and it just keeps rotating. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to leave New York City for one more leg of our journey. It's about a five and a half, six hour flight across the United States. I can show them how to work. Am I going to show them what? How to work all of this. Uh, well, I guess they're going to have to kind of explore that. Here we go. On the flight home, wow. we're going to end up right back here. Whoopsie. And let's go back home and see our home again. Oh, no, I want to come back to, I want to come back to Linwood. There we go. Another fun thing to do if you want, and I'm going to come out of the field trip and just, this is for parents who are watching. Um, if you want to do a search of your address, maybe to start a, start a trip, um, you might want to do that. And I'm going to search for my address here. Um, there we go. Oh, I can't let's wait to see our home. Let's see if we're there. I don't think we'll be there. But anyway, it's kind of fun to 